neither am I. So if you're smart, you will just let him have some happiness for a change. And if you're not, well, and you keep pushing, just know that I will push back hard mm. in ways that you can't even begin to imagine. Your days with the man are over, Stephanie. It's my turn to be Mrs. Eric Forrester. Oh. Yeah, that never works out well. All right, hello, welcome to Bold Live. Did you think we missed you? We're gonna, did you think we weren't gonna show up? We're here and Jennifer Garice, AKA Donna Logan is in the building. She's literally in the building. She just got off set. No spoilers though, but uh, Donna Logan does what she does best. And um, she is here to uh, answer your questions and uh, have some fun. Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun this afternoon and um, we're gonna see some great clips of the past because you know, there's one thing that uh, Jennifer does a great job is playing Donna. She's, she's a little bit of Brooke, a little bit of Katie, and a whole lot of Donna, right? And uh, we're gonna have some fun today. So gather around, grab a, grab, grab a drink, and here's Bold Live in three, two, one, boom. Hello, hello everybody, it's good to see you. I missed you all. And um, I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to join us today. Normally, I drink coffee in my Bold and Beautiful uh, mug, uh, but today I'm drinking tea. Because you know what goes with tea? Honey. Honey goes with tea. So I got my honey and I put some honey in my tea. I also have, believe it or not, I have hot honey with chilies. This is not an advertisement. So, you know, but this is just, they, they make hot honey. So I, I might try that later, um, see how that is. But I'm going to drink some tea. Whew. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Come on in. Mm. Thank you, Kyle. Very nice. Hi, Kenneth. Good to see you guys. Um, we're going to have a fun show. Let me, here's the rundown. Jennifer Garris is here. She's here going to answer your questions, answer your phone calls. Uh, super fan, Matt Hanvey is here, and he's going to reveal his top three favorite Donna Logan moments, kind of the iconic classic moments of Donna. And uh, then we're going to have your phone calls. And um, I have a game, too, because... I just, I like playing games. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the one and only Jennifer Garris. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? In my dressing room, and I'm not drinking tea mm. or honey, but I'm having a cocktail to this mm. Friday afternoon. We're here, so I'm going to take advantage of that. Well, how was your day? It was great. I was on set and um, I had a wonderful day. I will not give away the storyline, but um, I'm looking forward to everyone seeing it and hearing their thoughts. Well, that's very good. I was um, didn't even have time to put in my ear pods. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? You like my ear pods? I can hear you. All right. Excellent. This just, you know, we've, we have grown leaps and bounds every episode here on Bold Live. And because of you, our fans, thank you for tuning in. And look who's here. It's Donna. And, uh, Hi. And, uh, um, and our subscribers are amazing. They've come here week after week, and uh, we do this show for them. So if you want to be a part of the action, and maybe you're not watching it live, that's, that's okay. You're watching it uh, on uh, tape. Subscribe. So then you could be here live next time, right? We don't want you to miss any of this bold and beautiful content. Okay, so now, Jennifer, mm -hmm. I, I don't know if people know this, but you were born in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I was born in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. It's so funny, because when you're, I say Lancaster, you say Lancaster. Oh, La okay. Um, but um, it's funny, because it's, uh, it's very Amish. I don't know if you saw the movie Witness but uh, we're surrounded by Amish people. And actually they worked in our homes. And, you know, one of them, uh, Jonas was uh, the gardener and he was really one. He would bring his horse and buggy to our house and park the horse under the tree so the horse wouldn't get overheated. It was really, it was, uh, it was a really cool place to grow up. 
We really was. In so, fact, yes. I went ago and um, shot a film that I played an Amish lady, believe it or not. <laughs> oh, when, what, when was this? Uh, I don't remember, five years ago okay. or something. What's the name you of know, it? I have a, a, a mind warp of a... Okay. Of, of, well, we'll look it up. We'll check it out. All but, the different the shows. Awesome. All right. Well, uh, it's a, I've been I've been very close to. What do you say, Lan, Lancaster? I say Lancaster. Lin, Lin, okay. Well, I hope I not offend anybody from Pennsylvania. Or, uh, Pennsylvania. Yes. Well, hello. If you're from Pennsylvania, say hello. Hey, uh, CC is in Harrisburg. All right, CC. Uh, I've been to uh, Hershey, Pennsylvania. The feed on my phone. I don't know why. Uh oh. Don't you don't see any. Oh, so you're just gonna have. You know what? These glasses probably give a glare anyway. Um, okay. Uh, so, and and then I have to put them all into. Maybe you can read it for. I don't. I'm not seeing the feed, so I can't uh, see where everybody's from. Oh no. So I, okay. Know all of you and you know where you're from and ask me a question. I told you. I said many times. Ask me anything. Anything you want. Well, let me tell yeah. you, people. Uh, uh, the truth. <laughs> yes, I'm having a little audio problem, so I'm sorry. Apologize for that. We just had a little technical problem getting uh, yeah. Jennifer on, so but we'll get through it. Hopefully, it'll work itself out as we go along. Um, people are loving your purple outfit. Oh, they're loving my purple outfit. Well, I'll do like a fashion show for them. Please. Okay? It's a jumper. I'm digging my jumpers lately, right? I love my jumpers because you know what? It is a no brainer to me. Like I throw this on and I can put on like a little high heel, same jewelry, it doesn't matter. And it's a no brainer. Like when I go to my closet, sometimes I have no idea how to match everything. And it's just not only time consuming, but I'm just not very good at it. My daughter who's nine actually helps me. Um, so jumpers and little dresses are easy because then I don't have to think about it. It's just one piece. Well, now, one thing that's great about your character is the fashion. I mean, you wear things that other people uh, don't necessarily wear. So how much of that is, you know, the show and how much is that of that is you? You know, it's usually the show. This is actually mine and I actually wore it on the show. This is the first time I've actually worn my own jumper or my own outfit period on the show. But um, mostly it's the show. They know my body. They know the silhouette I want. And um, I'm trying to maybe make Donna slightly more conservative, maybe covering up. I'm sure the fans have noticed that. Covering up a little bit sometimes, not be so, you know, <laughs> suggestive. Um, and um, But they do a really good job. Now that they know my look, it's like high-waisted, nice silhouette is what I like. Classy, a little sexy, but not over the top sexy. Then it just does too much. Well, you know, um, uh, we're gonna see some clips later that shows maybe Donna's uh, less conservative side. Uh, I was younger. <laughs> just, no, well, everybody's saying you rock the purple and that uh -huh. that um uh you look amazing so yeah. cheers to that and let me tell you this this tea with okay. cheers 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 <laughs> can i put a little honey in here would that be good i know i wish i here i kind of put some in here yeah. there you go you. okay <laughs> all right so so why don't we say i see him he's uh in our green room i want to bring him in our super fan matt hanvey he's also been a frequent guest on our show hey matt how are you Hey, Hi. I'm good. How are you guys? Oh, I saw you on Instagram telling you you were going to come join me. Thank you for doing so. Well, I, I brought wine and honey oh, too. <laughs> so. I nice. I got, yeah, I'm sorry. I just put my glasses on to see what's going on here. <laughs> so, Matt. I have red wine. Matt, so oh, what, why don't you tell please. us what what is some of, uh, let's count down from your number three. Uh, number Donna three. Donna moment. <laughs> Well, it's, it was very hard to choose because there are a lot of very iconic Donna moments, but <laughs> um, going down, I would probably say number three would be on the runway, the trophy wife, quote unquote, when Pam uh, poured the honey on her. <laughs> uh, this would definitely be my number three. <laughs> you remember this, Jennifer? 
Oh, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, oh. oh. It's just so perfect. It's so tough. <laughs> that Eric made for me, and I was so enthusiastic and so honored to be doing this. And then Tammy has to come to <laughs> Like, everything. <laughs> the funny thing was that it turned it turned around on her because everybody uh, loved it. So. <laughs> I, but I, I love the look at the end of this. I remember they took some photos of this. It was like I was like a gold statue. By the end. So cool. <laughs> Bill's face always cracked me up too. <laughs> and there was um, there was glitter in CBS for like a year later. Oh, that's that's so right. I remember that for a year they would find glitter all along the like it's like the yellow brick road all throughout the building. <laughs> it was ridiculous. They're probably still. I probably find it. <laughs> all right. Well, what's number two, Matt? My number two was not long after Donna came on the show, uh, they revived Brooke's bedroom with <laughs> with Donna as the the model. <laughs> And it was quite fun because she made her rounds in the crowds. <laughs> uh oh, uh, there's somebody behind you there, uh, Jennifer. I, there's a bear. There's a bear in your dressing room. Oh my goodness! What is happening? Oh my gosh! It's Ally Mills, everybody. What? Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Up to the chair like this with all the honey pouring over her. We were almost there. That was that, Matt. Oh, no, that's no. Matt's favorite moment. <laughs> that, oh. That's my number one. <laughs> Here. There. Can, can you see the clip? Oh, they are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go get my oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 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 you just always walk around. I don't know. I, I gotta say, if you're just joining Bold Live, you're probably saying, what is going on? What is going on? There's a woman being attacked by a bear. There's a woman in a bear suit. Can you do it? Like it's Pam and Donna together again. <laughs> yeah. Now, who are the other people that I'm seeing here? Matt, remember well, This is yeah. our super fan, Matt, and, I, and I'm Casey. No, Matt. Can we yeah. see Matt old? Hi. Oh, how are we seeing you? Where are you? Well, I, I, I'm in LA. I'm not that yeah. far from you. <laughs> well, Matt. You know, at a certain they, age, we don't know anything about social media. I don't why, understand so. how it works. I don't understand how it works. She doesn't understand you're, how it works. We don't understand. You're doing yeah. great. You're doing great. And Matt, let's go back to number two. Allie, you're going to like this because I don't even know if you saw Jennifer ever in this scene. But Matt, why don't you say what your number two moment was? Number two was when Donna did Brooke's bedroom. She became the model for Brooke's bedroom line, and uh, <laughs> everybody in the crowd enjoyed. Uh, <laughs> it was it was the perfect setup for what was coming with Donna. So. <laughs> Where did Jennifer go? Wait. I'm sorry, I was just watching. I love this. I love this audience member. She's just like, I am not, this is not forced to creations. I am out of here. I am out of here. Both need glasses, so I Oh, you guys look great. I'm taking my bear thoughts off. It's so hot. Otherwise, we can't see the little tiny screen. Oh my god, you guys are hilarious. All right. Well, Matt, Matt, thank you so much. We're gonna say goodbye to Matt. And Thanks we'll, for we'll, having me on. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Oh, oh, I just, uh-oh. I, I click goodbye to everybody. Oh, my goodness. I, I, this, who? I need a breather. I need a breather. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Now I've got to invite Jen back. I hope she can do this. This might, I can't believe that happened. Oh, boy. Hold on. How great does Allie Look, I love her so much. That was awesome. Oh my gosh. I just said goodbye to everybody. This might be a problem. I might need Matt to come back and save the show because I just said goodbye. But they'll come back. Let's 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 keep our fingers crossed that they'll come back. Though I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I have an idea. This is bold live. See, anything can happen. So let me well, I can't I can't call on that phone. Hang on one second. 
This is my office, by the way. And who am I? I'm Casey Kasperzik, supervising producer for The Bold and the Beautiful. And uh, we just had a bear attack on The Bold Live. A bear attack, Jennifer Garrice. She's okay, though. She's going to be okay. But now I've got to, um, uh, let's see here. Hold on one second. You did it. No, I hung up on you. I hung up on you. I was my fault. Oh wait, I have to turn the volume. Sorry guys, there's probably just not good Wi-Fi. And you said that you didn't you weren't good with technology. Look at you. You're great. Yeah, I'm great. Uh-oh. My kids, I'm like Gavin, how do I do this? And he comes and shows me. I was I was almost gonna say you could come up to my office. We could sit outside if it's better for Show's you. Show's over. Wait, Paul. No, no, Paul. show's not over. Show's just starting. No, Paul, Paul. Paul. Oh, Paul. Paul was on Bold and Beautiful. He played a character. I just did a TV show with him. Okay. Uh, and 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 almost there. What's almost there? What is he saying? I said, bring a question for me. I just he was a character on Bold and Beautiful. I think it was a I don't know how many years ago, but he was pretty evil, I understand. And um he said he was gonna ask me some very invasive questions, he said. So I wanna hear his question. All right. Well, I let's let's uh Allie, are you gonna hang out? I am hanging out oh, with Caesar, Caesar. That's right. Okay. Paul played Caesar and I just played I just worked with him on a pilot. In Kentucky, it was the most ridiculous, silly pilot that we did um, called The Home in a, a one-star nursing home. Go figure. It was, like, really funny. And uh, he was one of the characters anyway. <laughs> oh, how cool. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, hey, Sanjay. Sanjay's on. Are you? Uh, yeah. I, I, I got to play, like, I felt, like, very outside of my comfort zone, which was really nice because Donna is, you know, a certain kind of way, and I played kind of a wacky administrator and it was kind of fun i was kind of like camming it out there hmm. <laughs> i was inspired I, this one <laughs> I, i'm not sure how you play wacky but that i'm glad you probably you probably pulled it off it was funny how it all just I kind of just connected once way i got too there. intellectual and smart to play wacky <laughs> yes <laughs> wait yeah, was... <laughs> ali since i have you both both here where are you going oh you're pulling Oh, pull up a coffee table, please. By all means, pull up a coffee table. Well, I have a question to the fans. Are you hearing a weird audio thing? If you are, let me know. Otherwise, no. Well, no, not you, the fans. Because are do you hear me? Okay. Yes. Okay. Lava. Ooh, this one. Oh, but you haven't seen the show yet. Oh, we can't. We're not allowed to talk about. Oh, oh shoot, shows. shoot! I just gave away the storyline. This is this is this is like the catwalk gone wrong. Remember the catwalk? <laughs> Meow. Meow. No. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, good. This is, good. Thank you for is telling me to say. No, Sanjay is on. Say hi. Yeah. I I I don't know why it's not like going. Can we come up, going. Casey? Can we get Sanjay on the screen? Oh, Mrs. Oh, I just got a text from him. Literally, I saw it's it okay. here. You know what? I don't know. Maybe if Sanjay texts texts me, I can get him on. Oh yes, 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 yes. Remember, they're uh, oh my gosh. So Kevin and Sanjay own a restaurant, Little Big oh, Cup. Oh my God! How much fun yes, did we have? We had so much fun. We stayed at their place. We did a charity event. It was really their amazing. place is so spectacularly beautiful. Yes, it's beyond belief. Yes. And what was food. your favorite dish? Oh, okay. the chicken. Oh, the pra chicken the praline waffles. the praline chicken. The waffles were so amazing, like so good. So Marco <laughs> says. Yeah, your audio is dodgy. Okay, so I am almost. I almost. Can you guys come up to the office? Yeah, yeah, totally. Are we allowed to? We just both got tested. We're both yes. negative. Yes, yes, you're allowed. Three times. times you can't work here unless you get tested yeah. three times, and then you know, mask until you talk. You rehearse. Yeah, long otherwise long. I would not let this lady in my room. Bear outfit or anything. No, no. But what we should come up. Okay, okay so we'll Casey. Come 
why don't you show some more fun clips? I'll show some so more fun clips and then uh, and then uh, uh, you come up. And do you have any wine, by the way? I, I have the bottle. I might need a refill. Right. Uh, I Uber. Uber, this is my one night out a week. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Bye. Goodbye. Okay. Wait. I'm trying to exit. I can't. I can't. Wait. Uh oh. Oh my goodness. This is fun. This is fun. I apologize. Uh, they're gonna come up here now, and uh, that's good. That's fine with me. In the meantime, let's see if uh, Sanjay, our awesome friend from uh, Louisiana, can. Uh, if you can text me. Uh, then I can probably try to get you in, but I don't have your number. Anyway, oh, oh my goodness. Must have been, did you hear that? That must have been the honey. Oh my goodness. Okay, I have to take that one out. I'm a one ear, ear pod person. Um, yeah, they, huh, that's right, Johnny. They'll have me outnumbered. I know, I'm a little, I'm a little afraid. Okay, weird audio, Doris. I know, we're working on it. Uh, Mona, are you on? Mona, I haven't heard from you. Normally Mona is here and Rebecca, how are you guys? Um, the phone lines aren't open yet, but they're going to be open soon. This is the phone line. Write it down um, or or call in. You know what? Start calling in. That's fine because uh, Jennifer and uh, Allie are coming up. But you know what? I'm in a new office. They don't know I'm in a new office. So they're probably just going to be yelling around here looking for me. So I will um, hopefully they'll find me. And uh, we can have better audio because it's just, it's just, she's in, oh, I think I've got Sanjay's number. Hold on one second. Let me see how I can do this. Wait, I want to take this away. Okay, boom. I don't think you people, okay, boom. Boop, bitty boop. No. Back. Hello. Oh, my. Blame it on the honey. Paul, you're funny. That's funny. No, I'm not going to blame it on the honey. We're having a good time here. Okay, hello. I'm gonna add, okay, here. Boom, sending you the link now. See if he joins. Okay, I wonder if Allie feels about the newly reboot Wonder Years. Oh, she loves it. I think, I asked her about that. I think she's very excited for that. That's a good question. Um, and, uh, oh yeah, you can call the bold, uh, the hotline, our fan line from overseas. You just have to dial like you're dying US, but standard rates do apply, unfortunately. Uh, we're working on a way maybe that our international fans can call in without um, having to have those fees, uh, but we'll see. It's a free number here in the US and in Canada, uh, but internationally, yeah, you need to, to do the, uh... oh, Daniel's on hold. Okay, excellent. Well, that'll be fun. Okay, so boom, put the fan line back up. Oh, and I've got, let's see, waiting for Sanjay to uh, come on in. But we're going to talk about some moments. Of course, you know, who can remember, who can forget, and who can remember this unforgettable moment when Pam and Donna were on the uh, Price is Right. That was a fun show. And remember when Donna was having her little, uh, a little love fest with uh, Eric and Stephanie walked in on them and Eric had to like go out to the ledge. Here's that photo of poor Eric on the ledge with the pigeons. We're going to have John on the show later on in October. We'll ask him about that scene. You remember that? Kathy remembers it. Kathy, rem it. Kathy I have a feeling you, you remember a lot of things. Yeah, that is a cool picture with uh, Drew, Don, and Pam. Now, if you're just joining us on YouTube, uh, Jennifer Garris and Allie Mills are making their way up to my office. Uh, the audio was a little dodgy, so uh, I just said, come up to my office. Oh, I hear them. Okay, but I don't know. If I'm in here. Oh, my goodness. See, they don't know. They don't know where I'm at. I'm over here. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my. Here, here. Pull the chair in. So, um, oh, okay. You made your way up there. Right. Well, Are we still live on the, the, the lighting's really good here. So pull, pull up a chair, pull that chair over here. Okay. This is a, this is what, this is what her, and I got to. Uh-huh. Are we still live? We're live.
sense in doing two lives, right? Sit down. No, maybe. but we could put you here if you want to be live here. Okay. You could be on that one. Okay. Uh -oh. Listen, like I said, I'm a virgin to these lives. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing, so I don't okay, know. Okay, but talk like... to these people, though, yes, here. Hi. This is, the, we're, <laughs> we're, we're, hi, we are live on YouTube. Old live. Okay, this is crazy. And then, Allie? I'm live. How's it going? <laughs> Whew, we made it. Can you all hear us fine? Are we good? <laughs> Look who's here. Hey, Kyle. No. Hi. Oh, hi. Who's that? Hi. Sam J. Sam J. We were just hi. Hi. Allie, Jen, Casey, hi. Thank you for your text. Thank you. Absolutely. Just and saying hello. And I love you guys. I we, miss you. We love you guys too. And, and we love the live that's going on. It's so great to see you three. It's like a little Louisiana reunion. Oh, I know. Yeah. And it was so and we have to, to see this you at uh, Kelly and Dom's store recently. And that was very nice. That, yes, we that. had a lot of fun seeing you. So, guys. everybody, why, why don't you tell the fans who you are and uh, what what you do? Sure. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Sanjay. My partner is Kevin. We're in Louisiana, and we have a restaurant on the bayou called the Little Big Cup. And, oh, uh, yes, you do. We have had the the opportunity of a lot of the wonderful cast members of the Bold and Beautiful to visit the past few years and and raise money for a good cause with Kelly and Dom and. Just so honored to meet such a, a wonderful, fun team of people. I, I mean, the show is awesome, but but these people, the actors, they are simply amazing. Casey is amazing, and um, you well, know it's great. Well, let's to, not go to, that to... far. <laughs> so, um, put on my bold and beautiful cap. Oh, geez! And, oh um, my God! Really? Yeah, and it's can so you make a Can you make a guys. special Wait. dish with honey? Wait, I'm going like... to send everybody here over to the live chat on youtube otherwise it's yes hard yes go, bold, so go please to check out my bio yes and it is there well how are you guys yeah, doing in louisiana time. after everything we are good casey a lot of you know hurricanes and storms but we we everyone's well and how um you know you guys? helping everyone so everything's going well how did it affect you i thought about you uh, in Lafayette, we did not have much of anything, oh, but um, New Orleans and surrounding areas was really bad. So, um, yeah, but um, we have to get you guys, guys back for a visit soon. We're looking forward. Um, in the meantime, we're enjoying Bold and Beautiful. We appreciate everything you guys are doing with COVID precautions and, and getting out there and, and being on storylines and, and keeping us entertained. And thank you to you guys, the crew, and everyone for what you're doing. Well, cheers to you. Well, cheers. cheers. To you. Right. Thank you for joining Bye, us. Guys. And uh, Absolutely. we'll hope to see you again yeah, soon. Yeah, we want to come visit. We really yeah. need another round we of will the plan. Absolutely, what guys. Good seeing everyone. And for a good cause. Yes. Yes, absolutely. All right. Have Bye, a good guys. weekend. Bye-bye. You guys do. That was nice. oh, I love All right, that. let's open the fan lines, guys. Fans okay. want to talk to you. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is the most okay. people on. Are you ready for this? Okay. I push the button, and then they're fans. Uh huh. Oh, cool. Jeez. I'm gonna kind of get it's out of so the way. So high tech. And, oh, All yeah. this stuff just. Hello, crazy. welcome to Bold Live. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hey, this you? is Daniel. I'm Daniel. From Dallas, Texas. Daniel from Dallas. Hi, Daniel from Dallas. Say hi to Pam and Donna. Hi. Hello, hello, Casey. Hello, Allie. Hello, Jennifer. You guys are awesome. Hello. Oh, thank you. How are you? So do you have a question um, for our guest of honor? Yes, oh, I yes. do. I have a two-part question. I was originally going to ask how those two like working with each other. My second part was, is there an inside joke on set with the lemon bars and who supplies the lemon bars? And do you guys eat the rest uh, that are left over? <laughs> well, Good question. Working with her, her is torture. <laughs> it's absolutely <laughs> torture. Can't you for tell? me? I okay. mean, can't, for her, for her, again, yeah, mm -hmm. for her. No, it's great. I just have to tell her what every word means in the script, which is kind of <laughs> embarrassing. You know, every day, I know, mean, honey. You know that that word actually means. She does. Absolutely, yeah. No, I, I mean, you all probably know. Do you know that she's like an MBA <laughs> from Pepperdine University? She's like so super smart. It's ridiculous. It's all an act. She's a very good actor. I'm, she plays a dumbbell, but, you know, the truth is she ain't no dumbbell. And I just we, we love working together. I love working together. Love I really do. Uh, yeah, we have, we have a great relationship. And um, who supplies the lemon bars? 
I have. I do. I know. I totally know who does. Um, what's it's? I probably shouldn't say. Charlotte. That. Can I? No. Can I say? Oh. But I can't say the name of the store. I probably shouldn't. But oh. I, I don't know. It's, it's our our property. Oh, 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 famous bakery here it's in a LA. It's a wonderful bakery yeah. here in LA. But okay. I bake them for at Christmas time for the crew. And they are not the goodest ones we get for the bakery. But they're made with a lot of hearts. Yeah, made, made with a lot of hearts. And at a certain point Allie's in the show, I became gluten-free because okay. of my insides. And so they got me gluten-free lemon bars, but they would stick to your oh. fingers. Donna would hand them to me and we're like, oh. Because <laughs> gluten-free is never... Never right. It's never good. If you got to do it, it's okay. But the other yeah. is better. Well, Daniel, thanks for calling, and uh, you have a good weekend. Bye, Daniel. Bye. Hey, y'all too. Thanks so much. Yeah, people love those lemon bars. They do. I know. And uh, the crew gained ten pounds. I know. <laughs> since that. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello. There's a little maybe delay, or can you hear us? Hello. Hello. Are you there now? Oh, we'll have to go to the next caller. No problem. How amazing that you can do this, Casey. I'm can you even see? Hi, you welcome to Bold Live. How's it going? Well, I don't know what he's doing. Hi. Hi. Hi, what's your name? Where are you calling from? I'm Angie. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. How's it going? Oh, Hi. Angie. Hi, Angie. Hi. Hi. I'm calling from Lansing. I called last week and talked to Scott. Yes. Aww. Well, now say hi to Jennifer and Allie. Hi, Angie. Hi. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Allie. Hi. hi. Yes. Hey. You have a question for our, our guests? Yes. Do you mind if I call? I mean, how? I mean, I do have a question for, yeah, for Jennifer. I mean, when she was up at Big Bear, and she got that honey on her. How did she feel? Ugh. Uh, but you know. Her. You know, the, um, you know, okay, let's see. Honestly, yeah. I, I, I was supposed to be terrified. <laughs> I remember, yeah. That I was one supposed right to there. be terrified during that scene, but there was no bear in front of me. There was nothing in front of me. There was a bear. Not in front of me. In front of me. I yes. saw an ex. And it I, was so I, mean. Yeah, I mean, she was off her meds, and she was like, <laughs> "It was yeah. actually, you know, there was we had a stage manager. His name was Don, and he was just adorable. And he was like up there going, oh, pretending to be the bear because we couldn't have the bear on set with me at the same time because she's a chicken. I'm a chicken. No, it was a it real was bear. Protocol. At CBS. It was protocol. Yeah, I remember. So she was just afraid. So honestly, I I tried to kill you, Jennifer. I just tried so hard not, not to afraid. laugh during the scene because Dom would say. Like, Didn't she try to kill you? Stage manager, remember? She, well, I don't know if she was trying to kill her. She was just trying to really harm her. <laughs> she was, was trying to kill her. Like, I mean, her or something? Well, was come on. Honey. If, if, look, just think about it. If you really loved your sister and you loved your sister's husband and they had a wonderful marriage and something like uh, this nice comes in between, <laughs> something like this, you know, you get a little upset. And you're up in a cabin, and you know about animals that they love sugar and yeah, lemon bars, he, and it's just like, come on, this could be right, the way. She was right. I mean, she didn't know what to do. She didn't know what to do. We may we need to do another uh, like another. She, yeah, don't. Well, Angie, that thank Jennifer you, Jim. thank you for calling. That was so, so such a great episode. All right, <laughs> we got to get to another caller. Okay. You have a good weekend. Bye, Angie. Bye bye. I can't well, see anything. Oh. I gotta put these glasses on. Well, I, 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 we all. I, okay. Hi. Welcome to Bold Live. Hi, Casey. Hey, it's Rebecca from San Clemente. Hi, Hi Rebecca. Rebecca. Yep. How are you? Hi, Hi Ali. Hi, Jennifer. Welcome Hi, back to you? Bold Live. Hi. Do you have a Do you have a favorite I, Pam and Donna moment? Yeah, it was the one that that last lady said with the honey in her hair. But I also have a question for Allie. I've been a fan of yours since the um, Wonder Years. Oh. But my question for you was, what was it like working on, on the Waltons? Because I oh saw you in an episode the other day. You know what? That was my very first job in Los Angeles. I was probably 25 or 4. And Michael Lurinett, who played the mother on the Waltons, I was in the theater as a young person, you know, as a kid and everything. And I was Michael Learned's dresser. 
And this girl on the show that had like a real huge part quit. And Michael said, don't tell anybody, Shh, put on her costume and I'll tell you the lines. Get on stage, get your equity card up at American Conservatory Theater in Los Angeles, which is a really big equity theater. So as a teenager, I put on her costume. Her, her father was actually the chairman of the board. She was very rich. I put on her costume mm -hmm. and, and I ended up being Michael Learned's babysitter all summer. And we became really good friends. I took care of her children and I worked at ACT and I got to be in the company. And so when I came down here, she said, get on the Waltons. And so she gave me that little part of the nervous, <laughs> which is my very first job. I, I've never even seen it. <laughs> you saw that show? I played a nurse, didn't I? Yeah, it's on, it's well, on Hallmark Channel at nighttime. Well, more importantly, how much money are you making off that from residuals? Uh, like about a penny. A dollar. A, oh, a dollar uh, here Ed's a dollar there. <laughs> Hello, Ed. Hi, yeah, Sally. this is uh, 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 uh <laughs> Hello, tell them we're doing this a show. Our, this is this is our executive producer, yeah. so we're on, we're on the air. He wants to know what the hell you're doing, what with what <laughs> he wants to know because uh, Friday tag it's important. So, this is oh, our executive hey. producer. I'm on bold live, so I got the I got people. <laughs> we're talking to Donna and Allie. This is our executive producer yeah. and and He's Jennifer. One of the yeah. Jennifer, you gotta get downstairs. No, yeah. no, 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 I I can't leave you two alone. No, no I'm not going anywhere. Just take over. Uh, uh, no problem. Uh, anyway, uh, Rebecca, thank you so much for calling. So nice to meet you. And Jennifer, what's Wait. your favorite scene of all time? What's your favorite scene of all time? You know, honestly, I, I, I always go back <laughs> to my wedding with Eric. Aww. I, Aww. I, it, I don't know how much they played. I don't know how much it got cut exactly on the way they cut it on the show. But whenever I think about Eric and I, I, and I need to get there, I remember how he looked to me that day. And I just think <laughs> about how he... He looked at me with such love and it's just, I just always go back to that day because it was just perfect and wonderful. I'm going to get them back together. You just <laughs> mark my words. I'm going to get no, you out of that. That's what I we'll think too. I think, well, I we'll think they're going to get back together too. After me. I mean, after <laughs> all these years of you, you, okay, Rebecca, thank you so much for calling. You're welcome. I you love later. you guys. And, Bye -bye. and I'm so sorry about your husband, Orson. We, we loved him here at my house too. God bless you. Thank you. Oh. Every day I miss him. Thank you so much. All right. You take You're care, welcome. Rebecca. Bye-bye. Bye. That's our, she's our super fan that calls into the show. Wow. Well, she calls, she's made it in every, every wow. show. Wow. All right. Let's see who's coming in next. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, this is Tammy in New York. Hey, Tammy. Hi. Hey, just make sure you turn down uh, the show wherever you're watching it so you don't hear that feedback. Got it. Okay, I'm turning down the sound because I was just told to lower the sound. Great. Perfect. Thank you. So, Tammy, what do you? No. what's going on? Well, first of all, you guys are all fantastic. I, I love the show. Thank you. My question, my question is basically, Allie, Yes. I'm wondering if you were forbidden from going to the re-ceremony for Eric recently because you would have told off Quinn for sleeping with Carter. Were you banned from this re-ceremony re, uh, or whatever they, they want to call it? Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, um, yeah, I would, I, would, I would not be invited by Quinn to a ceremony like that. You're completely correct. After she what does, she did to your sister's <laughs> portrait? I mean, come on. She kicked her foot through my sister's portrait, so she knows that I'm on her. So I don't get invited to the house hardly ever anymore. And I'm actually surprised anybody showed up. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> I mean, I love Eric, and I would do anything that he asked me, but I don't think he made up the invitation list. Let's no. just put it that way. No. Were you invited? Oh, <laughs> me I was a flower girl. <laughs> Well, Tammy is. We don't so nice get to you. see you and Charlie anymore. Oh. Oh, you just might. You just might. We we need a Pam and Charlie uh, wedding, don't you oh. think? <laughs> Not yet. Yes. Yeah. We want to. Do you guys want to see Pam and Charlie get married? And and Keep Donna. Donna could be the minister. Oh yeah. <laughs> Add that to my. Resume. I like that idea. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to rip my resume. 
All right, I like the note. And then Donna could get married to Eric, and it could all be good again. Oh. <laughs> That'd be so nice. Double wedding. Oh, wow. Double wow. wedding. Wow. With a lot of lemon bars. Double trouble. Yeah, yeah the good food. food. If, if she got married and I was cooking... That'd be good but not me yeah. cooking and her getting Pam, married. Uh, people, people want to see Pam and Charlie, so we'll see. All right, Tammy, thank you so much. Bye, Tammy. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. All right, let's see who's next on the phone. Yeah, if you call in, make sure you just turn down the show because there is a little delay. Donna and Caesar. Okay. <laughs> Donna and Caesar. Yes, Paul. All right. Hi. Welcome. Um, welcome to Bold Live. What's going on? Where? Who are you? Hi, I'm in Virginia. How are you? My name's Tina. 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 How are you guys? Good. I was calling to ask Jennifer, is she ready to deal with Quinn wanting Eric in the show? Because that's going to be exciting. I be, but I am strong, especially with my two sisters backing me up in this one. <laughs> I know. We, you also, we've seen. you got Sheila coming. We yeah. got two of them. Yeah, we, we see a lot of ep a lot of scenes with uh, Donna telling her sisters how she, you know, she missed she she was only happy with um with Eric. Yeah. But when, when is Donna going to act on this? I don't know. You know, we talk about it a lot when we're when we're secretaries together at the desk. We do. We, we just do. do. She misses him a lot, I, and, and it's all you know. Yeah. It's adding up to me. But Donna, believe it or not, has morals now. She didn't used to, but now. <laughs> no, she does. So she's respecting it. You know, she hasn't She hasn't crossed the line. She's respecting it, I think. I'm just so excited to see you get with Quinn over Eric or get with yeah. Sheila. That's going to be so exciting. And I, I just wanted to know. It. Yeah. I'm I just, just thought it was my so little private dance right here while I see you say that. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Well, I have one more quick thing for you. Does anybody ever tell you you look like the Barbie doll Barbie? Ha! <laughs> Her? You. <laughs> Come on. Donna looks so beautiful. She, on the show, she always looks like Barbie, the doll, when we grow up. That is so Gorgeous. Nice. Thank you. Yes, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. That just made my day. She is gorgeous. Jennifer, you are just gorgeous. You're Barbie all the way. You know, a woman at my age likes to hear something like that. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, no, you're welcome. Yeah. Thanks for tuning All right. in. I love you guys. Thank you, Bye. Tina. Bye. 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 Oh gosh, Tina's awesome. Okay, <laughs> we need a go, Barbie. That's how. Sounds... Let's see who's here. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Oh my God. Hi, my name is Brittany. I'm from Florida, Orlando, Florida, actually. Brittany from I Orlando. Love Hello. <laughs> Hello. You had hurricanes too. I love. I'm sorry. You had hurricanes too. Yes, what? we're we're getting a lot of rain and wind. It's typical Florida weather, unfortunately. I've been down here for like 15 years. It's all we deal with down here. <laughs> but I just I want to say I love you, ladies. You guys are daytime royalty. I love. For both of you so so much you've been watching for the for several several years um i actually had a question for jennifer mm -hmm. um one of my bones to pick with donna is that that she constantly sighs to work even though she knows her sister is wrong especially to her as her sister katie why do you think work is more harsh to support for able to give Brooke the benefit of the doubt. Well, because I know Brooke makes, I think Donna sees the different mistakes and faults that Brooke's, Brooke has, but it's, um, she does it from her heart. She always acts from her heart. So how do you fault somebody when they act that way? She doesn't mean to hurt somebody. She doesn't mean to sleep with Bill, does she? <laughs> But, no, it's, it's, from, it's from her heart. So I don't know how I can pick a fight with that. So I think that's, she, 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 I have a soft spot for her, I think. I do. You know what I wish, or, or I haven't seen on the show yet? I would love to see Donna and Katie, like, have a tug of war over, like, a handsome guy. 
I was really hoping we, we Donna did, didn't we? Fight over Bill. Donna, Donna, wait, Bill. Katie, Donna, Katie, Donna. Do we have a, a, a tug of war for a second? Or is that Young and the Restless? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was Grace and Victoria. I don't know. So mm. um, Thorn? Thorn for one oh, second. Yeah, I think they Just were hinting. Thorn. Maybe they were hinting a little bit that. I think I empathize. Maybe. You know what it was? But it wasn't Jack. really a. No. I empathize with Thorne because Katie wasn't paying attention to him. And I just really felt bad for him. But I don't think there was a tug of. Oh, I don't know. there was. Thorne in the beginning. That's what beginning, I said, beginning. Well, this yeah. is what Allie said. That's yeah. what I said. Yes. Yes. Thorne. I thought, sorry. I thought. But we need it. Wait, let's bring a new. That's. that's <laughs> maybe. There maybe two Thorns. <laughs> maybe uh, maybe uh, Thorne comes back. Maybe so. I wouldn't mind that. I but I I always Donna has always remained very neutral, very partial. I think she's like a perfect balance of Brooke and Katie. That's why I would love to kind of see a bad girl Donna come out a little. Oh, bit. <laughs> and, and have a little tug of war over another man. So just Donna, let it all out and tell my sister the mistakes that she's making and. Just let her have it. Yeah, Marco confirmed Thorn in the beginning was between Don. Oh, yeah, Donna and Macy. Oh, I wasn't. No, that not wasn't Macy. me, Donna. Oh, it did. Oh, in the very Perry Mitchum. Marco's Marco's going back to Perry yeah. Mitchum played Donna before I played Donna. <laughs> well, thank you. I've got quite a few fans on the on the phone line, so I got to move along. But thank you for calling. Thank you. Absolutely, I love you, lady. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. And uh, if you're just now joining the show. I'm here with Jennifer Garris and Allie Mills. I'm Casey Kasperzik. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the Bold and Beautiful channel, please take your, this moment and subscribe. There's the button down somewhere at the bottom there. All right, let's down see who's coming there. in. <laughs> yeah. I do have a, well, you, oh, you brought the bottle up here. Oh my we goodness. brought the bottle. That's from John McCook. Hi, welcome to the Bold Live. What's your name, where are you calling from? Hello? Hello. Hello. I know people have been on hold a long time, and I and and I, I did I didn't see a fan comment. I think it's a Dion. Uh, we are going to do the fan roll call, so just bear with us, and we will do the fan roll call as soon as we get through the the the, the phone line here. Hello, going once, twice. Okay, so sorry. We're gonna have to go to the next caller. Hi, welcome to Bold Live. Hey, Casey. Hi. Just turn down the show so we can hear you What's better. What's that? Welcome. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, this is Susan calling from Las Vegas. Oh, and, uh, nice, we, baby. Yeah. I, I spoke to you, Casey, uh, a couple of weeks ago um, when I called in and Brooke was on. Oh, right. So, anyways, how's it going over there? Good. We're just hanging good, out. Good. We just had a great work day. And we're having a glass of wine. Oh, that's perfect. You, you guys just, uh, you look so good on TV. You act. I really am impressed with your acting and you keep me enthralled. I just wish you were on for an hour instead of a half an hour, you know? I know. But then we'd have so much more lines to memorize, and that would be so that's different. Oh, you could deal with that. Oh, that's, what, that's why you like to do fuck. Would you check double if we did that? Maybe. So, okay. Su Susan, where do you like to, what casino do you like to go to in Las Vegas? Oh, Green Valley Ranch. It's oh, okay. right around the corner from me. You're it's local. It's a five-star resort. Oh, it's yeah. beautiful. But are you from Chicago? Donna has no morals. Wait, what? Cleveland. I Cleveland, yeah, I can Cleveland. hear it. Grew up in Cleveland. See, people used to always say that, and I haven't heard that in a long time. I can totally hear but, Cleveland. Uh, <laughs> anyway, Ohio. thanks for taking my call. I just really wanted to touch base and say, hey, hey I enjoy right. the show. Well, we, I, we so thank you for watching the show and for being such a fan, and thank you for taking time to call. Thank you. Oh, my yeah. pleasure. Let's, let's hey, forward. Have let's... a good weekend. Here's to that's, Vegas. That's it. That's for Vegas, you. baby. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's see. That's who's, what I always Okay. Say. We're going to go through these really quick. Okay. So we're, out, we're running out, we're running out okay. against okay. the clock. Okay. Hi, real quick. What's your name? Where are you calling from? And what's your question? It's Paul Vato from originally Chicago, now Las Vegas. Oh, and I, Vegas. I would just want to say hi to my pal, Jennifer. 
Oh, it's Paul. It's Paul. Paul? Oh my God. Hey, Paul. What's up? I, I, Are we oh, going back to Kentucky was, soon? <laughs> I cannot wait. I, I didn't realize I was actually on the air already. My apologies. I was going to say I'm from Chicago where we don't have yeah. an accent. <laughs> this is live. There is no there's screening process. You are live. <laughs> so is Caesar oh coming goodness. back? Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Is Caesar coming back? <laughs> you know what? That's what I called for. Yes, I'm, I'm here because all the people I've talked to, you know, all these fans, they want Caesar back. They're saying this, not me. You know, you don't want to call them liars. So Wait, I now refresh my memory. What, what was Caesar's storyline? <laughs> Caesar really didn't have a storyline, but we kidnapped Ron Moss. Uh, into some nebulous Latino uh, country, and we we were going to try and throw him into a furnace. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, that you, was in I mean, 2003. How long ago was that? Right, 2003, when, when it ultimately turned out that Sheila was the one behind it all. Yes. There you yes. go. Yes. And then it all was... climaxed with a big, like, action sequence in the foundry. A hundred percent right. Okay, I remember. And, I, good for you, I had just started working at the show then in August of 2003. Wow. That was amazing. Wow. Yeah. This man's like an encyclopedia. Good. It's a little scary. I mean, come on. Well, Caesar, that's good. Thank you for calling in. I've got, I just want to get to a few more callers, but you have a great weekend. A hundred percent. Maybe I'll see you in Kentucky. So oh, Caesar. Paul. Paul. <laughs> Caesar was his character. <laughs> this is Paul. Okay, Joanna. And I just shot I'll the see you TV in Kentucky. Show. In Kentucky with Caesar. Okay. The home. The home. The home. Thank you. And maybe I'll see you there. Uh-huh. All right. Bye-bye. Can't wait. You guys take care. You guys. Right. Oh, that Bye. was awesome. Okay. I'm going to do two more callers. Two, two more callers. callers. Then I've got this game. Oh, the game. I've got a game. We have a game. Hi, welcome life. to Bold Lives. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Candace, and I'm calling from Baltimore, Maryland. Hey, Casey. Hi. Hey, Candace. Hi. Sorry. Uh -oh. <laughs> well, how are you? What's what have you been up to? I, Candace has been on the show frequently. Uh, nice, nice. <laughs> I've uh, I've uh, been working on a lesson plan for next week for the kids since I'm a teacher, and uh, uh, and also uh, jamming to the music that was playing while I was waiting. Oh. I really was dancing. So I'm, yeah, I'm ready for Dancing with the Stars. So fan edition. So <laughs> I'm just putting it out there. Well, real um, quick, you know, I'm just ready. Candace, we're running out of time. Uh, you got any questions for Jennifer or Allie? Yes. My question to you, ladies, is what piece of advice has been given to you that you can share with the rest of us? Piece of advice about life, about acting, about what? About life. Yeah, about life. Okay. Good oh, question. Shit. Oh, you're getting deep on us, I Candace. Don't mind. That's deep. Uh -huh. Go ahead, Allie. Yeah. Uh, you know, are you, just because it just came to my mind when you said it, I think one of the most interesting things that my husband ever said to me when I married him, which scared me a little because I'd been alone for 40 years and very practical and saved all my money as a hardworking actor. He said, give everything that we don't need away. Just give it away. Mm -hmm. It'll come back to you. You know, just use what you need. And then give everything away to people that need things. And I was like, oh, 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 oh. you know, he's 20 years older than me. My future. Oh, oh. And, and I, I was generous, I thought, but nothing like him. And in yeah. retrospect, you know, after 30 years of an amazing marriage, um, that's probably the most important thing I ever learned because it's really true. It just came every time a job would come. Uh, this would come, you know, every time that we, we acted that way, proactively to be generous to someone in need, boom, it came back. So that's what came up when you said that question. So that must be what somebody needs to hear out there today. It's a, yeah, it's, nice. it's a great lesson because it works. Well, I don't I feel like I can give any advice. But... <laughs> <laughs> and you know, trust me, whatever advice she gives and, you, don't And now it. for something completely no. different. <laughs> Um, well, my only advice is this, what I feel, where I feel the happiest is not thinking about the past hmm. and not getting yeah. anxiety about the future. Well, that's good. But 
Living yeah, the pressure. Yeah. The moment. It's all yeah, we got. I mean, I do that with I chat, yeah. I do with my kids and I do with my friends and I just feel and, and I do with my acting, actually. And I just feel like that's the best way to live life because you don't you don't know what the future holds and why are you gonna just keep going through the past? That's really great. It's just that's that would that would I can't believe she just said that. I just to said be that. Oh my god! I just surprised myself. That, I was, I, I, that, that was deep. Was that was very therapeutic right now. I feel as though <laughs> this is not both live. This is just therapy session right now. <laughs> this is it's, thanks it's, to you. Well, Candace, thank you for <laughs> calling. Always good talking with you and. Um, Nice talking to you guys, and you guys have a safe weekend, okay? Okay. I'm going to put you back on hold so you can listen to the music. To the music? (laughs) (laughs) All right. Love you guys. Okay. This is our last caller, guys. I'm so sorry we didn't get to you. Hi, every hi. Welcome to Bold Live. You're our yeah, last last man caller. Oh, my girlfriend Beth is. There. Oh, hi. This is the Soap Goddess calling from St. Louis. Hi. hi. What was your name? I missed it. I'm the Soap Goddess. Oh, the Soap Goddess. Hello, wow. Soap Goddess. Yes. I think Jennifer thinks she's the Soap I Goddess. I do not. I think she. Thinks I don't. That. So you guys do get out. Well, you, honey Goddess. You're the Honey Honey I mean, Goddess. <laughs> My question was, um, well, what I'm thrilled to see both of you and that you're on the set because that means we're going to get some Pam and Donna really soon. But my question is, do you think the cure for Eric's problem is some vitamin D as in Donna? Oh! <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's well, a good one. I, I like you'd it. You'd never think that you'd hear me saying this, but... Yes. <laughs> I do believe that. Allie flips me the line. I want her to be happy. And Eric to be happy. Yeah. Well, I mean, we'll have to what see. But think? Donna is being such a good girl. She's being respectful of Eric's I know, marriage, but I'm not so. ready. Well, I, I, no. You can't only be respectful so damn good. Way. You know, Donna's got a great job there as a secretary at for uh, you know, working at the desk at Forrester, you know. No, it's not that. She's too she's too she's too moral. Yeah. But <laughs> like she doesn't want to break up a marriage, which is a good thing. You shouldn't break up a marriage. But you should certain no, point, actually no. If no, someone's no. unhappy, you shouldn't. Move on in. <laughs> Move on in. I mean, that's just Well, what do, what do you think Stephanie agree. would think of that? Um, Stephanie is no longer with us. So I really believe that she would maybe give but her I, a blessing it, of being happy no matter what. And I would put her you. portrait on the wall. Oh. You her. would? Oh, oh well, I would. Then me. No, 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 no. Yes, if put you, her if, back if, up. if you, no. If, I would could honor be friends Stephanie with Brooke. Like that. No, she could, she's scared she could, me. She's alive, have. but now I honor her. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thank you for calling, uh, Soap Goddess. I just want to say a shout out to my girlfriend, Beth, who's on there. Beth, hi. Hi, Beth. She's my girlfriend. Beth is from the real world. Our kids go to school together. And I'm oh. just saying hi, Beth. Hi. Okay, you. real Let's quick. Hang out and party. Real whatever. quick. I want to play a game because I put together these clips for this game. So this game, where's my questions? Oh, they're right here. Okay. This game is, no, where are you going? Just Wait. Oh, just okay. She's refilling her uh, <clears throat> beverage. Okay, real quick. This game, this game is for you, Jennifer, because this is your show, and no help, no help from Allie. But it's called "How Well Do You Know Your Frenemy?" Okay. So these are questions about Pam. So the first question is, Jennifer. I don't know like this. What is Pam's favorite game show? You know that. Come on, Price is Right. Let's I mean, ding, 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 and the next ding, contestant ding, ding. on Price is Right is Donna oh, no, Logan. Oh, no. Well, let's see here. Cooking shows, I gotta say. Oh, come on. Oh, there's quick. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> this was filmed in the actual Price is Right studio and with actual Price is Right contestants. But my favorite thing was how hurt Pam was that Donna got called and not... <laughs> Not Pam. That was amazing. Look at you! I was Look so at your hair! Okay, question number oh two. God. Question number two. Uh, what is the name of the elf that Pam dressed up as to ruin Donna and Nick's Christmas together? Remember Pam disguised... Remember Pam dressed up as an elf? What was the name of that... A, little- man, a man elf. Yes. You're asking me. 
an elf. Yeah, well, remember? Elf, well, yes. Oh, show. I meant to show. I meant. I wait, 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 wait. I meant. Wait, wait. I meant to show a clip first. It was so scary. I have bad memories. You know, I, I'm just gonna stay here for a second. My back is. Santa's yeah. helper thinks that maybe this eggnog bowl needs a refill. Oh, 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 my Do you Lord. remember that? That was so long ago. Um, what was the name? Of so the, the elf had a name. Do you guys know? Does anybody remember uh, who's watching what the name of the elf was? The only elf I know is Elf on the Shelf. Well, that's yeah. not a name, uh, well, like a person's name. You know, I said she got an MBA, but I should have okay. had two Elf on a Shelf. That's the only Elf on a Shelf. It's not going to be a name, Elf on a Shelf. Well, Elf on the Shelf is a name. Oh, my God. You were Jerry, really? you were Jerry I, the Elf. I, I, oh I, I forgot. With a real beard. But now, I did forget so that, scary. but now I'm realizing you have just traumatized me again and oh, again oh, with oh, several oh, boyfriends oh, and husbands. You dumped you honey know. on her. You, you I, 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 I made blasted her, her with the snow I gun. I her skin black and I, tanning so I, I completely forgot about that. It has just that? been. I changed your Okay, teeth. last question. Uh, this is, teeth. here, this is if you, the best out of three. See if you get this one. What, what article of clothing uh, did Pam accuse Donna of stealing and modeling on the Forrester runway? What article or garment? It was the crocheted bikini and I was on the surfboard, right? Was it the crocheted it? bikini? Well, I would say. I think it was. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Is that not the runway? Yeah! Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my lord. Look at you. Look at that body. Oh, oh my <laughs> god, Jennifer. Look at you. <laughs> There it is. It was the crocheted bikini. Wow. <laughs> They're watching it on delay on YouTube yeah, over here sorry. in case you wanted, because yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. small on it's this so monitor. Small, we can't really okay, see it. so we're gonna wow. have to wrap up our show, but we're gonna bring this, we're gonna bring this super close right now. So this is what we call the fan roll call. So now I want you guys to start start typing in your names, and uh, Jennifer and Allie are gonna say hi to all of you. Uh, your names. So start typing them in there. And uh, this is what we call the fan roll call. Oh, she can't see you without right. my glasses. You Put your glasses see? on. <laughs> so here, they're going to say their names here, and you start Jerry, saying hi. Kyle. Kyle. See? Kyle Do they Mandy. say them first or do we? Yeah, just Donna. say it. Kyle. Hi, Lisa. Mandy. Mandy. Angie, Donna. we see you at all the events. Lisa. Yeah. Mandy. We do. So, another soap guy. Adam. Angela. Susan. Adam from Poland. Adam. Miss Melissa. Oh, gosh, how can you read that? <laughs> Lydia, Cass, Johnny, Marco. Cece, Michael, Leon, Mark, Suzanne, Lydia, Liz, Suzanne, Kathy, Tony, Wanda, Lisa, gosh, this is too fast. Oh, Diane, Liz, Jerry, Lydia, Kyle, Kyle, Minerva, Minerva Angela, Angela, Melissa, Angela. Melania, Gracie, Gracie. Clarence, <laughs> Lai, Arjar, Tammy. Oh. And time. Yeah, All right. Know. Okay. <laughs> we did it. I want to give a special thanks to Melissa. Thank you for that special little shout out gift. We really appreciate that, Happy Melissa. Week. Thank you. And that's it. All right. Okay. We did it. Bye, did everybody. It. Bye. Thank you so much. Well, let's let's so awesome. let's wrap up the show. I want to thank you guys all for watching next week. Jennifer, thank you for being our guest. Why? Thank you. Sorry for the delay at the beginning. We had some technical. No problem. And our special guest, Allie. Nice to see everybody. So good to see you. Have a wonderful weekend and a safe weekend. Yes, and uh, thank you guys all for watching. Next week we'll have uh, Thomas Forster, Matthew Atkinson will be here, and we'll get to talk to him. And um, if you liked <laughs> this show and want to see more of this kind of content with our cast members, then please um, uh, subscribe. subscribe. Also, I want to just do, uh, give a plug to uh, 
James Lott Jr. He's going to be uh, interviewing Kimberlyn Brown this weekend. So be sure to check out his social media for an interview with Kimberlyn Brown. We love James Lott and all the uh, special uh, interview shows that he does here for The Bold and the Beautiful. And in... Until next time, I want to just remind you all. We should do a say this, say this with me. No, we got it. We're going to be bold. We're going to be beautiful. And uh, be back next week for more Bold Live. Bye. 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 Bye.